ready to go. Ready to go to Melbourne, visit my man dog. He builds a custom engines. So we're gonna stock on this car for two and a half hours. Maxine is happy. <laughs> okay, just arrived in uh, Performance Unlimited. After two and a half hours drive, my wife is uh, very happy to see this place. <laughs> so I'm going to see these guys here. I hope that's what I want here. Yeah? Cool. Well, that'll be all the information I got to plug into that. Okay. Cool. Thank. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Good. I was, uh, I was uh, contacting you guys through Facebook. Yes. Yes. I saw. I saw. I saw. I'm not sure. I wasn't talking to you. Or how are yes. you doing? Yes. Just come. How are you doing, Steve? Nice to meet you. You don't mind me to uh, do a vlog or? No. 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 Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Fine. Up two and a half hours journey. Oh, where were you at? Where you at? We're staying Golf Okay. So, how you doing? That's the boss. Yes. That's the dog. Uh, how you doing, dog? How you buddy? You're doing a great job. Thank I'm you, man. watching you all the time on uh, Facebook, you know. Cool. Tremendous job. Good. Come on in. I'll show you some of the stuff we've got going on. LS motor. We hit the dyno. Probably by the end of the week. Okay. That's one there. This is a, a 351 Windsor. We basically already ran it and dynoed it. The 308 Windsor Stroker. 408. 408. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh boy. 408. We had it ran with a carburetor, but the gentleman decided to put this nice intake on there, tunnel ram, and we're going to put dual fuel injection on it. So we're Excellent. waiting for this piece It'll to be come a tunnel in. ram with a dual five deck. What is she going to make? Over five? Or? She it makes already over five with a single yeah. car. We're probably in the upper five now. Yeah. Basically, I just took the intake cool. off it this morning. I put this new one on. Gentleman, you know, says I want to upgrade. You know, he see he was, you know what? I got another idea. So hey, doesn't matter. You want to make changes? Excellent. I usually like the changes made before time, but as beautiful engine so it is. Yes. His original idea was was dual dual quads, mm -hmm. but nobody made the manifold. Right. But Holly just released this like last week or the week before. <laughs> so. Oh, we'll show, I'll show you a nice. Uh, Style track. I see all these parts, dog. Uh, it's uh, you obviously you order them and uh, fit them yeah. from manufacturer or, yeah. or the guys. Manufacturer supply. coming, but they don't always all bolt on exactly mm -hmm. the way they say they're supposed you, to. You you using like the same guys, the same supplier, basically? Or we do, yes. pretty much, right. yes. Yes. And it's funny, like we get all these kits. I'm putting on one now. Right here. I'm waiting for my intake, so I want to keep going. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the system on. Same thing with the style track. But you can see just for these kits. These roller bolts we keep in stock just for, you know. Yeah, you know what you have. You never know what you got going on with them. Different discs, different Old that. torque wrenches and all. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Hostage. use electronic torque yeah, wrenches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. That's, that the was a great to tool. Only way to go. Yeah. We actually got, bought a brand new one that does all the, you know, uh, besides inch pounds, they give you angles. Right. This yeah, new one yeah. here give you angles. I have one of those. Oh, you do? Yeah, do, there I you do, go. yes. I yeah, great care. job. You can do without it. Yeah, you can do almost anything with that one, you know? Crazy. And Matt's in the dyno, though. He's throwing up the motor on my dyno. This is big enough, please. Yeah. Here's one that we're, here's one that done, done. We, Steve didn't even put the video up yet of that one. How's that? That's a nice system. That's beautiful. It? This will get another finished piece on here yeah. the belt goes on. This made uh, about 615, I think. 615. All dyno tested already. Oh, ready. Excuse me? It's a dyno tested already and all? Oh, yeah. This right. has been ran already. Yep. We, we took, it's, I believe it has a, uh, what is wrong, Matt, with a Fitech on here? No. Yeah? Hey, Matt. The 427, what was that, a Fitech or a carburetor? No, uh, MSD. MSD, yeah, okay, Atomic MSD. MSD. Hi, Mac, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Yeah, MSD. The customer has special valve covers he's going to put on, so we didn't even put them on yet. 
Here's uh, Beautiful. another short block I started to assemble. This is going to be for an airboat. Holly EFI, 632 cubic inches. Uh -huh. This will make uh, about 880 big, horsepower. It's a big block, so Look it how is. Much yeah. Oh my this god. Thing. This is massive. Look at the stroke of how to cut yeah. in this thing. <gasps> And even the bottom of the block had to be super nice. My nephew does it for me. My family has a shop out in New Jersey. That's how I learned. From who paint them yourself, or who Excuse does me? who does the paint the block yourself? You painting? I I could bore, but but here's what I got. You know what? I got guys that I trust. Mm -hmm. I tell them where I want the box so I can build every day. And again, it depends what customer wants, any yes. colors and all. Whatever that. customer wants, like always, box. These are all mm -hmm. got, are all accounted for for customers already. So we just order what we need as our builds, you know, we, we try to do, this just came off the dyno uh, this morning, I was still a little warm, it might be a little warm, hmm. well, it was this morning anyway, I don't block. this is a uh, 408, made close to 500, what did it make, about 500 horsepower, about 5? 408, so uh, yeah, about well, 500, yeah, they're, uh, they're like 575 foot pounds and 500 horsepower, yeah. me and him ran it yesterday, what else we got here? Uh, those engines go most on the cars or boats or whatever. Any, whatever. whatever. People just. You got a vessel, we'll put it in it. We'll put it in a spaceship if they want. <laughs> <laughs> those guys that go on Mars, trying to get one in there. Might need more than one, though, right, to get that thing over the ground. Right. Anything. Off road. And, you know, someone just has an old car and they want to put a newer engine in, you know, rebuilt engine. Matt puts all the heads together back here. Well, there's a, a desk we may have moved out of here. This is a nice, tidy it. workshop, I have to say. But yeah, but this is where we throw heads together. We check all the spray. All these heads we buy, and there's still more even out there, uh -huh. he takes apart. We throw away the springs here, put them in a the box, and we put in these double springs. These springs are, come on, some of the heads are Double? Not, yeah, we need them for the roller cams. Right. And if we have to go bigger, yeah, we specialty keep, springs. Specialty springs, we keep that. Yeah. Like, like something it. like this, this would be a bigger, right. heavier spring. See that? Yeah. These are old, so well, we buy them by the box, 100 at a time. And why the doubles? Why, why, why the doubles? Oh, Just oh my God. God. <laughs> it's, about a spring, it's about spring pressure. Right. It's definitely about, but this is what you get when you buy an Edelbrock head or any of these type heads that come in with a single spring. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna work. They don't work long anyway, or right. properly. How's that? So, you know, again, this could be a spring here. Look at the difference when we start using a spring like yeah. this. Depending on what we're doing, we sort of know where we need to go for all the type of stuff. And then we take, throw away their seals. And we put a Viton seal. This is the best seal you can put on a motor. This is all new to me, you know, so yeah, because, I'm just listening. <laughs> but that's okay. But, you know, I'm just saying, you don't want to oil them when you fire yeah. them up. So we chuck away the old crap. You know, so this is where Matt checks all spring pressures. Or if he's rebuilding a carburetor sometimes. Or yeah. different carburetors and stuff. All right. So, and this is our dyno here. That's where magic happens. For almost anything we need, you know. Cool. It's not, uh, you know, real neat, but it does what we have. It's a workshop. Do. Yeah. Uh, outside, we, you can see the pipes that go up there, like mm -hmm. right up to the roof, you know. What about your neighbor? Doesn't give an off to you? They or? did. They did. Yeah, <laughs> they don't bother us anymore because we had to put truck bumpers outside. I keep different pans and covers for spray paint. Yeah. You know, I got a spray paint special stuff. Look at the mufflers I had. Uh -huh. I had these pipes just going up. One out of the whole complex complained, one person. This is to kill the sign a bit, a bit. It quiets them down uh -huh. So it's not as bad, you know, but it still makes a great, beautiful sound. So yeah, <laughs> that was my wife's This is This is an old one. Hey, my wife used to drive that car. And Matt took it over. This is a classic one. My wife loved that car for years. We tried. And we buy the Eagle kits, you know. <laughs> so you get the kits that come in with all the different stuff. And then we get guys send us stuff to rebuild. You know, we'll tear them apart. Collages and flywheels. Oh, yeah. You know, all the flywheels are different for the dynos and stuff. Different motor mounts and everything, you know. Yeah. We bring them up and hang them up here. Here's an interesting one we're doing. This has been a nightmare because everything the guy sends us is this, is that. We beam that, put it on the, on the run stand, and 
one of his carburetors is leaking fuel. Right. He can go off and send it out. But this is a 1956 312 Y block. 1956. Golf or Thunderbird. That's the valve cover. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we, gave, we had it inside, we had it on the dyno, fill it up, and, and the carburetor was so low, we had to send it out to a shop. You have to be, do a different job then? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, it's cool. It, it is what it is, and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> well, oh. that's great. Thanks very much, Doc, for no, showing no me around, problem. and uh, it's Not a pleasure a to meet you. Yeah. And uh, hopefully someday I'll be, some pictures, I'll be able to buy it to uh, cool. one of your engines, you know.